Good evening and a very warm welcome to a very special program, Cricket Predictor on NewsX, powered by 1xBat. The much-anticipated announcement of India's squad for the upcoming T20 World Cup 2024 has been made by the BCCI. Virat Kohli's inclusion stands out amongst the key highlights. Rohit Sharma will be leading a squad of 15, featuring the return of Yuzvendra Chahal and a debut World Cup call-up for Shivam Dubey. Sanju Samson and Rishabh Pant will handle wicket-keeping duties, with Hardik Pandya returning as vice-captain. Akshar Patel joins to strengthen the spin department alongside Chehel. Kuldeep Yadav and Ravindra Chehel, Arshdeep Singh and Mohammad Siraj will support India's pace battery led by Jaspreet Bumrah. Additionally, Shubman Gill, Rinku Singh, Avesh Khan and Khalil Ahmed have been named as reserve players who will travel with the squad. Well, the first batch of players, in fact, is set to depart for the US on the 21st of May. Shifting gears, let's also take a look at India's fixtures for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 in Group A. On the 5th of June, India will be facing Ireland at the Nassau County International Stadium in New York. Then on the 9th of June, it's a much-anticipated clash against our rivals Pakistan at the same venue. On June 12th, India take on the host, the US, again at the Nassau County International Cricket Stadium. Finally, on 15th of June, India will square off against Canada at the Central Brevard Park in Brevard County Stadium in Loader Hill. Now, these fixtures promise thrilling encounters as India aim for T20 World Cup glory. My colleague Sunil Yashkalra is joining us uh, live to decode this uh, with a panel of special guests. Sunil, over to you. Uh, let's talk about these uh, big announcements made today. Well, absolutely. I mean, just imagine you don't have uh, you don't have KL Rahul, Shreya Sanya, Vitraj Gaikwad and Vishan Kishan. I mean, just imagine you were talking about uh, past perfect, but you are talking about here is present continuous. Yes, these terms we we learned in a grammar class, but today it's actually the fact. IPL has thrown in two big names, which is uh, Sanjay Samson and Rishabh Pan, uh, which calls for an immediate uh, request to Sutherland Vishwanath, the former Indian wicketkeeper. Sutherland, are you happy the way the, the team has come out to be? I mean, were you surprised with Sanjay Samson's inclusion and the exclusion of KL Rahul and Rishabh Pan? Sutherland, you yeah. Thank you, Sudhir. Good evening, Sudhir. Good evening, David. Good evening, Paul. Good evening to viewers all over the world. Well, selecting the Indian team has always been a quandary. It's always been very mysterious, and it's not at all easy at all. But India is a vast country. But I do feel very sorry for my club mate. I feel very sorry for KL Rahul that he's not been able to make the cut. Congratulations to right. Sandra Samson, because he has been formidable in this IPL tournament, leading and also getting runs for Rajasthan Royals has pitchforked him as the reserve keeper. Or maybe sometimes he might even keep wickets in place of Rishabh Pant. Congrats to Rishabh Pant for a remarkable recovery and back into the Indian team. And I'm sure he'll come all guns blazing in the World Cup at America and West Indies. And also, it's a great pick. Shivam Dube is a great pick. And Chahal, even though we picked him, we never used him in the 2022 version. I hope this time around in 2024, in the smallest grounds, which might assist him and, you know, might give some purchase to Chahal and the other spinners like Jadeja and Kuldi and Aksar Patel too. I think we've got a good team. It all depends how we go out there and implement all this uh, that they've learned all over the years. And I'm sure that it's a very experienced squad and they might, they might go on to do very well. David Brooks, you've been a great fan of uh, Virat Kohli, but were you, were you disturbed about the chatter that was having the surround sound talking about why Virat Kohli and why not XYZ? Do you think uh, that that has been aptly put to the rest? And second, Yuzvendra Chal, again, RCB, former player, now making a cut. Uh, other other days of spin, the slide, and the old traditional spin is back. Your views, David Brooks from London. Yes, uh, Sunil. Um, hello to everyone. I'm delighted to see, uh, obviously, Virat Kohli in there. I think it would have been a huge error to have left him out. So he has to play. And, um, yeah, I think that uh, the recall of, uh, of Chahal is uh, not before time. They, they've obviously been looking at his performances in this IPL. So great to see that. To me, uh, I agree with, uh, with Vichy and yourself in terms of KL Rahul being omitted. Um, I think that's a big omission on the basis that he's hit such good form. What, 379 runs in, in the IPL and yes. looking really good at, at the moment. To me, the, the fellow is lucky to be included on the basis of recent form, is actually the vice-captain, uh, Hardik Pandya. And at least they got it the right way round with him as vice and Rohit Sharma 
as captain, unlike the current M MI uh, composition, uh, because there's no way he could have gone in uh, with him as captain. He's looked like a rabbit caught in the headlights uh, during this IPL. And at least we're at Sharma's back there. It looks a very, very strong uh, team. Thrilled to see Shivan Dube, who to me is like the Yuvraj Singh of the current generation. And uh, yeah, it looks a very, very formidable side. Well, you, two observations come out from uh, Sadarab Vishwanath and David Brooks. One is the mysterious selection of the past. And right now, he said, uh, David Brooks mentioned that rabbit caught in the middle of the headlights. Uh, Paul Jeanette, do you think Hardik Pandya is lucky to be in the squad and even luckier to be named as the vice captain? He probably is lucky to be in the squad, but... Uh, I don't think he's necessarily a bad selection. Just looking, he's, he's um, strike rate of 140 in this IPL, which would um, sorry, that's that's his um, that's his brother Krunel. Um He's <laughs> his strike rate um, uh, in the in the tournament so far has been only um, 152, which in a normal tournament would be brilliant, but in this IPL, it's not so good. I think the thing with India is that, and we've talked before, Sunil, about how. Many years ago, Australia fielded two teams in a tri-series. India could pick five That's teams um, to go in this World Cup, and all five of them would have a chance of making the semi-finals. So you listed about four players who are unlikely to miss out. You could name many, many others um, who are unlikely to miss out. I'm delighted to see Rishabh Punt back in there, and I, I agree with my yeah. colleagues that Shivam Dubey had to be in the side. Um, maybe I've missed something. Was there genuinely speculation that Kohli was going to miss out? That just seems extraordinary to me. Not at all. Uh, in fact, there was a chatter and no confirmed, never the confirmed sources. There were no sources. There was just huge uh, gossip, which which converted into a form of a news break. David Brooks, did you manage to see something like this? Kohli, who scored 4,000 runs in the overall T20, he's got 17 more records in T20. Now, if you were to look at it from any side, anywhere, you once said that he could, on his current form, he can play up to 40 like Ms. Zoni. Your views, David Brooks? Oh, there's, I mean, given his level of fitness and more importantly, his appetite, you know, for the game and the motivation that he shows. Uh, I've been saying for a while that he's much more appreciated outside India, you know, on the international stage than he is within India. And, you know, you're talking about one of the, the greats. And we've just seen in the last game for RCB, you know, the role that he played. Uh, in seeing the RCB to victory there. You know, he is the team man and uh, someone of his quality um, has to has to play. And um, him and uh, Rohit Sharma, uh, yeah, I think they were left out of a, of a recent T20 side, weren't they? Um, and they got beaten by West Indies under Hardik Pandya's captaincy. Uh, so this is That's a return correct. to a full... Yeah, this is a return to a full-strength uh, India team. And looking at the relative strengths people will be up against... Uh, we've had what, three or four teams announced now in that World Cup. Um, India on spin-friendly wickets will be a big, big handful for, for the other teams. Well, when you look at Pondinet, when you look at uh, T20 World Cup squad, you have Yashasvi Jaiswal, Shivam Dube, Sanju Samson, Mohamed Siraj, Kuldeep Yadav. Uh, what do you think of the colours? Well, yeah, and you've got... Uh, think... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Paul. No, oh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I agree with David. I think that they are right up there with um, with all the teams as favourites. They obviously have the pressure of 1.4 billion people, and the format is such that um, you know you can play as well as you want as we saw in the World Cup. But it's it's going to come down to to, to semi finals and the final, and whoever plays better on the day wins. I think in the the spin friendly and low slow conditions that we'll probably see. In um, the West Indies, and probably I would imagine in the United States, these drop-in pitches. I think I've got the Adelaide oh, yeah. curator over there; he's pretty good. But it'll it'll favour India. I think it'll also favour the home side. I think that um, West Indies are going to be frightfully difficult to beat as well. Well, one minute. One question that we've been failing to uh, get answers to is from 2003 World Cup. He said everything goes well, and the law of averages catches up with India in the final. What is, when you look at this team, do you think it has all the ingredients to beat Australia? Second question is, now, you, your team was so good. Now, you've got your own uh, pitches onto the floor and the mat. Now, were you not satisfied beating India with, in India on our pitches that you had to carry now Adelaide pitches to the, to the, to the matches? What's <laughs> it? I mean, what is it going on? 
Kokobura balls, Aussie pitches, great, uh, formidable side. Can you give uh, cricket fans a break and, and just let it be a level playing field? Well, I think we're, we're, we're fighting against the, 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 the dying of the sun. I think this great Australian era is going. I think it's going to be an Indian-dominated era. And I'm just so happy that we won this last World Cup because I'm, I'm a bit pessimistic. I'm just not so sure. Uh, I, I just keep on thinking India is going to start to dominate. I think it's great that they've got the Aussie curator over there because what we need as cricket fans, we need the India-Pakistan game to be an absolute thriller and to showcase our sport to the, one of the biggest audiences that's ever going to see it. If we're ever going to see, have some success in getting cricket popular in America, we, de- we need a nice pitch with good carry, and that's very difficult to get. So that's what I'm looking forward to. The India-Pakistan clash, um, you know, it's going to rate higher than the Super Bowl. It's going to be one of the, the standout sporting events of the year. Uh, and just like it was at the MCG in the last World Cup, um, if, it, if it's an absolute thriller, then it will really set the World Cup alight. Well, thriller is a word that you've used quite a number of times. But the final hardly looked like a thriller. David Brooks, do you think, is there a way to stop this Aussie domination? I mean, we keep on waiting that the, the era is coming to an end. But the question is when. Just when we write them off, there's always the big occasion that Australia can rise to. And uh, just following up what Sadnan said earlier, I, you know, I'd love to see from an Australian point of view, Pat Cummins uh, retained as captain because they're on a roll under him. He's shown outstanding leadership, hasn't he? Outstanding captaincy yeah. and the ability to pull out personal performances when they're really required. And it would just seem odd going in with Mitchell Marsh as the captain, just as India have made changes from their last T20 uh, bilateral i think world cup's different you know you need that really clear firm leadership it's all very well having different captains in different formats in the bilaterals but in an event like this where every game counts i'm sure paul well, would rather see pat cummins there uh, in, uh, as well, the leader. Uh, we'll get a quick quick uh, look in from you and then i'll get southern vishwanath before we get rajkumar sharma virat kohli's coach to give his version his opinion about it. But first, Paul Dillard, very quickly, and then I go on to Sudhran Vishwanath. Yeah, I'd love to see Pat Cummins as captain. I think it's the right thing to do. Give him a rest after that. It's hard to captain all three formats. The thing that I'm most concerned about is that the strong speculation in the Australian media, and I just can't believe this is true, but that's what it's saying, is that Jake Fraser McGurk is not going to make the Australian World Cup squad. And I think that is just crazy. Uh, if I'm an opposition supporter, I'm terrified. Are you Jake worried Fraser about, McGurk, are you worried about speculation? Be in the uh, is uh, Mr. Rajkumar Sharma joined in? If he has, then the question goes on to him. Mr. Rajkumar Sharma, welcome to the show. Sir, speculation is a word that has been used for players who are trying to make a comeback. But how do you deal with someone who scored 4,000 runs, has got 17 records under his belt for T20, and perhaps has broken all the possible records? Now, what do you call this when they talk about Virat Kohli with such disdain? I mean, after so, giving so much to the country, to the franchise, do you think it's unfair on him and on you personally, Mr. Rajkumar Sharma? Uh, uh, Sunil, come again. Uh, I couldn't listen. Uh, we welcome you on the show. Qu- question Thank is, you. speculation is a word that we've used very loosely for legends. And I think this time with, with a guy like Virat Kohli, 4,000 runs, 17 T20 records under his belt, scored everywhere in the world. I, don't you think so? It's unfair for a legend like him to be treated with speculation, gossips, and uh, hearsay, and make it like and peddle it like news. Does it bother him? Does it bother you? You're the elder guy. He calls uh, father almost and calls you a father figure. Does it bother you? Does it pain you? Sometimes you know you feel uh, bad, or at times I feel pity on those guys. You know about their knowledge, uh, about their character. You know, I mean, what do they want to say by saying all this, you know? They just want to be in the news. Earlier also, Sunil, in our previous show, I said they just want to make news out of it, you know? And, uh, I mean, they don't have knowledge about the game. They just want to... Because uh, only uh, saying anything against Virat Kohli will show their name in the news, you know? And uh, that will make a news for them and name for them. That is why they are... On live television media, if you were to say one line to those guys, what would it be to the to the Kohli haters and trollers? Virat Kohli haters and trollers. 
I would say he's an Indian icon, is an Indian great, and you must respect his, uh, you know, stats, his uh, credentials, his, uh, you know, uh, what he has done for the country. So, I mean, before talking or uh, before saying anything, you should see his stats. You see, uh, you should see what is his contribution to Indian cricket. How many matches he has single-handedly won for the country. Then, I mean, uh, I think they should just uh, uh, take out the records and. Uh, see for themselves that who else, uh, who is the other cricketer who has won more matches than him for the country in all the formats I'm talking, not the one format only. So, uh, it is their lack of knowledge and, you know, it is just to make a news they are talking like this. But it gives that, uh, I mean, Virat is least bothered about all these things. He doesn't even know who all these guys are and he would never want to know all these guys that... Uh, who uh, talks like this. But sometimes, you know, you feel bad when some uh, former cricketers talk like this. Then uh, it hurts, you know, that uh, the guy who has already played a good class of cricket and he speaks like that. Then it hurts. Uh, Otherwise, he doesn't mind. Yeah. One question is about Virat Kohli making that uh, post-match ceremony comments. And he did point out a certain set of, even the commentators, you know, just getting after him. What do you have to say about his uh, about this controversy? Do you want to put it uh, uh, on rest for this? Well, I think uh, uh, everybody should uh, forget it now, and uh, everybody should uh, wish him uh, good luck. And uh, he's uh, a part of Indian uh, World Cup team, and he should win the World Cup for the country. That is more important. I mean, and uh, people okay. who were who were under the agenda of uh, trying to uh, trying that he should not be there. That agenda has uh, failed, and uh, I mean, uh, now they should uh, pray for him, should uh, wish him that uh, he should do well for the country. And uh, Very quickly, uh, Mr. Rajkumar Sharma, I'll get in. David Brooks. David Brooks, you often say that Virat Kohli is more appreciated globally than in India. You still stand by it? Absolutely. I mean, the class of Virat is appreciated worldwide. And yet, it's strange, when you get into the uh, Indian media, you find that there is this constant chirping. Um, it's not present anywhere else in the world. And certainly uh, the teams will be fearing it. All the other teams will fear an India side that has Virat Kohli in it uh, rather than an India team without him. There's no doubt at all what team that India's opponents would prefer to see. Uh, the team that's been named, the squad that's been named with the experience of Kohli and Sharma there it is certainly the best team to go into the tournament and the one that opposition will least likely to want to play against. Well, that's very important. Paul Dillon, do you feel the same kind of chirping uh, happening in Australia? No. I mean, in Australia, Virat Kohli is regarded as, alongside Sachin Tendulkar, the greatest cricketer that India has ever produced. And I think any Australian cricket fan learning of the fact that there's been um, speculation about Kohli's position would be just flabbergasted. He's the first player that he's picked. And even to this day, I think any Australian fan, if you say, you can pick one Indian batter that's going to get a duck today. We'd say we want Kohli because we're, we're, we're scared of him. Um, you know, the respect for Virat Kohli in this country is enormous. Mm. Mr. Rajkumar Sharma, uh, does, it, does it make you happy when you, when you hear so many good things about the guy that you saw as a nine-year-old kid conquer the world, conquer the best playing team and the hearts and the minds? Also, uh, do you think this after after this he'll come to an end or will it continue uh, till the end of his career this kind of chirping is the right word not reports uh, Sunil why we are talking about those guys who are uh, speaking this uh, foolish language I mean these foolish things I'm, I mean I'm least bothered even Virat is not concerned so uh, I mean <laughs> okay, let's move on to let's move on to yes you have a fair point you have a fair point and, but, let's, but, but let's... Here, here I want to congratulate Indian selectors that they have selected a very good team and I'm honestly very happy for uh, Rishabh Pant and uh, Chahal that they, they have just, they have come I'll just spend two minutes on Rishabh Pant and Chahal because Rishabh is someone you saw him grow from under 19 to the deadly uh, you know kind of well, great mishap in the sporting world and then make a comeback before IPL, he wasn't even considered to play for the Ranji and now he's making the cut to the World Cup. Yuzvendra Chahal, greatest flighter uh, uh, bowler in the last 5-7 years of leg spin, makes a comeback purely on IPL performance. I'm, uh, really, I'm really very happy for Rishabh Pan firstly because uh, the type of uh, accident he had 
was very very unfortunate and everybody was uh, feeling very sorry that whether he will be able to make a comeback but with his sheer de- determination and dedication and with with his hard work he has pulled it back and uh, now we are there uh, to see him you know doing well for the country as we all know he is a tremendous uh, match winner he has won so many matches for the country and uh, everybody likes him and i'm really very happy for him so am i for uh, chahal also because he is a big hearted guy you know and uh, he is the only bowler who really spins the ball who you can call a spinner in uh, you know the modern era who really spins the ball who bowls a good googly uh, with a slow we, pace so we are on the faggot of our uh, show right now very quick word one drop or one inclusion that you are surprised if you were to name the one uh, uh, no honestly I, i'm i'm i was not sure whether both ravind jadeja and akshar patel uh, both of them would be there rather uh, i was thinking that there will be a, 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 a one fast bowler would be added in place of them but they are both uh, they they both are very good all rounders so i mean it was difficult for the, the selectors i can understand to drop any of them absolutely david brooks very quick one word you think uh, one name that comes to your mind was uh, that that shook you up in this indian team well um following on from what sadnan said i think rah k o r a l was the a notable omission and uh, i'd have found room for him in that squad for sure he's the one name that i think in given the form that he's in uh, and the fact that he's going to be facing international quality attacks uh, constantly you know, consistently and uh, all the time uh, he's the one omission that i would look at there so then in vishwana as our show goes final words from you uh, what do you think of the overall team one omission and one inclusion that has surprised you and then we'll wrap the show Well, it's a good team. It's well balanced, but uh, suddenly I agree with David. We miss K L Rahul with his international experience, his class, and his present form. Mark my words. Before May thirty first, there will be an omission, and we can add a new player into the team. So maybe K L Rahul might make the flight to America. Well, if that happens, there will be a huge uh, debate for India. and in your words is mysterious as you called in the past i think the mystery will continue well that will keep it for a future thing and not speculate it right now i thank all my guests right now high powered guests to share their views and honest discussion on cricket predictor well that's all we have time for keep watching news x for more such videos subscribe to the news x youtube channel hit the bell icon